What up guys, it's Demolisher from Modders Gateway here coming at you to show you how to export models and textures from Call of Duty 4 on the PC. So before I show you how to do this stuff, you're going to need a, a few programs. Uh, the first program you're going to need is called Adobe Photoshop. This program will let you view the textures and edit them before we put them all together and add them to the models. And uh, the next program is called Cinema 4D, and we're going to use that to view and edit and animate the models. Animate? What the hell? You can animate? Hell yeah, you can. And the final program is called WinRAR, which I don't have up right now because uh, I don't I don't like it. I don't like the icon on my desktop, so I just don't have it up there. Um, and that file, that program basically just uh, views files that we can't see normally in the Call of Duty 4 uh, files so let's begin by uh, downloading some files that we're gonna need to uh, view and uh, get the models and stuff so the first uh, file is called Call of Duty 4 mod tools uh, now what this uh, folder of files does is uh, produce the models that we need to view and get ready to export and stuff so you can simply down this download this uh, from this page here and I'll provide the link from uh, from all my uh, resources that I'll be saying uh, today in the description below so uh, I've already downloaded this so I'm just gonna exit out of this so the next thing is called skinning tools uh, this basically is gonna be uh, converting the textures into files that we can use in Photoshop and it also has a plugin that we're gonna need to uh, install on Photoshop to use and I'm just gonna install that right now and we have to wait 40 seconds so while we're waiting for that I'm gonna go uh, tell you about this okay next the program that we're gonna need next is called X model now this is gonna bring all the models in so you can view them and preview them and then you can export them to an object file so you can view them on cinema 4d so when you get to this page you're gonna to wanna to click latest update Then you're gonna to wanna to click down here full X model exporter you just wanna click open Okay, now when you open this, you'll see all these files. Okay, now what I like to do is create a new file or folder on my desktop, just calling it X model. Then click and drag these files from this folder over here. And then you just close that. Okay. Now back to uh, Mega Upload. So uh, after your timer runs down, you're going to want to click regular upload, download, I mean. That's going to load. You're just going to click open. Open this file. Now you're going to see uh, four files in here. You can just uh, ignore README, but you're going to want to create another folder called textures. Now with textures, I just drag these two files right here. We don't need this file in here. Boom. Okay, now with this file, what you're going to want to do with it is install it into your plugin folder for Photoshop. So I'm going to show you now how to how to do that right now. So you're going to want to click the start menu, click computer, local C drive. Now I'm running on 64-bit, so I have two program files, one for 32-bit, one for my normal 64-bit. So if you're not running a 64-bit system, then you will only have one program files. If you're running a 64-bit system, you will have two program files. And uh, you're going to want to, uh, since uh, this plugin doesn't work with 64-bit uh, uh, Adobe programs. We're just, okay, so we're going to want to go into the 30-bit folder, 32-bit 30, folder. We're going to want to go into the 32-bit folder. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to go into the o Adobe folder. Photoshop plugins then you're gonna to want to create a new folder called DDS I've already made mine earlier now once you create that you're gonna to want to click and drag this plugin into that folder and you won't be uh, a pop-up won't be like this okay, once you're done with that exit that out you can exit that out okay now here comes the fun part I'm gonna show you guys how to get your textures from WinRAR. Now this download link will be in the description too, so don't worry. So what you're gonna want to go to is, uh, you're probably gonna start it up, and it's gonna be like in a weird place or something. Just keep clicking this arrow until you get to your local C drive. 
Now, once you get here, you're going to want to find your uh, Call of Duty uh, games folder. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this, okay? Uh, the first way is just a normal install. If you didn't install it with Steam or anything, uh, it's just you install it from CD or something. So, you're going to want to go into your program files, Activision, Call of Duty 4, and then the main. And then these inside these folders right here are sound files and image files. The image files are the texture files where you will get that and you can um, convert them into uh, DDS form so Photoshop can read them. So now I'm going to show you how to get them if you have uh, the game installed on Steam. So you're going to want to open Steam, the folder. You're going to want to go to Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty 4, Main, and then these same files that you saw previously in my regular program files folder is right here. So I'm just going to back out because that's not where I usually go for uh, mine because it's only halfway downloaded. Um, but I'm going to go back over here, go to main, and then I'm just going to stay here because I just forgot a step. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, once you guys get Call of Duty tools done, you're going to want to go into your computer, your local C drive, your program files, where you install Call of Duty, and click and drag all those files into here. As you can see, I already have mine because you can see uh, model export and map source and stuff like that. So I'm just going to close that and we're going to go back into WinRAR. So uh, as you can see here, there are all these weird name files and only well the only program that I found that can read these files is WinRAR which is very weird okay so you just double click it and you can see you there's an image folder and in this image folder is so many textures and uh, with these textures is you can open up your textures folder on your desktop then you're gonna wanna click any texture here I'm just gonna do bird okay click bird in there okay now once you have bird in here you can click and drag this onto IWI to DDS and what that's gonna do is gonna create a Photoshop folder not folder file okay now we're just gonna open up Photoshop so we can view the texture file do 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 yes I'm doing a trial right now and that's what you can do if you want don't want to pay for the full uh, the programs okay so now you're just going to uh, you can either click and drag this in here which I'm going to do right now and with this you're going to click no if you click yes there's going to be like an extra space with black space and I don't like that so I just click no and as you, as you can see here's the birds from I believe it's shipment out by the um the docks and uh, this is where you could edit them so you can like draw like smiley face on them or something like that and if you want you can even uh, replace these so if you want to replace like the bird with a dog it's still gonna look like a bird in the air but it won't have the image as a bird it will have a dog which is pretty funny so I'm just gonna exit out of that that was just to show you guys I'm just gonna delete this Okay, now get to the good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. X model. Open your X model folder. Double click on X model exporter. Now, I don't know why mine does this. I don't know if yours will do this or not, but mine goes away if I just click. Keep clicking, okay. So, once that's done, you're going to want to click up here to the folder icon. Now, go to local disk, and you're going to want to navigate to where you installed your uh, Call of Duty tools, mod tools. And once you go to that, you're going to want to click on raw. X model. Okay. Now once that loads, you're going to see all these. Okay. I don't know why that's doing that. Let me try this again. X model. Okay. That's weird. Let me try reopening the program.
There we go. Okay, I just had to reopen the program, so uh, here we go. So I'm going to know, I already know a model that I want to export to Cinema. Uh, if you click up here on the little green check mark and you click on preview surface and you can zoom in and you can see it and this is actually a statue in the middle on showdown so after I figured out what I want to do with this and if this is the right one you click export object to then I just like exporting it to my desktop and I click OK and you hear that sound, and that's when you know it's done. Now to find the find the uh, texture for it, you're gonna want to go back into WinRAR. Now these are uh, categorized by alphabet, so um, we'll just go to M's, which I know is around. I think it's two. I'm not positive. Scroll down here. Yep, it's two. And you're just gonna go to want to go to me, just like before we saw an X model. And you're gonna want to go to if I can find it. Okay, so it's not here, so I'm going to look down here and see if I can't find statue from the S's. It might be there. Now, sometimes these uh, textures won't be exactly what they were in X model. Yep, here we go. Statue. Now... The difference between um, this one and this one is um, NML, it has no color to it. The texture has no color to it for some reason. So I think NML means negative material or something like that. And uh, COL means color, of course. So you're going to want to just click and drag this, just like I showed you before, into your textures folder. There you go. Okay. Now that you have that done, you're going to want to click and drag this IWI to DDS. Then that's going to make it into a Photoshop readable. File open. Go to my textures folder. There it is. No. Okay, as you can see here, this is the texture for it. You can see his ugly ass face. And this ugly freaking statue. So to get this in uh, Cinema 4D, what we're going to want to do is go to File, Save As. It's going to change it to a desktop. PNG. Click Save. Click None. OK. I can just minimize Photoshop for now. And now we are going to open Cinema 4D to load our statue model that we got from X model earlier. So you're just going to want to go to uh, File Open, Desktop, and it is right here, Statue LOD00, Open, just click OK, and there it is right here. And uh, it looks very uh, bland right now, but we're going to change that in a second. What you're going to want to do is double click, I'm going to click this to see that this is the body, the body. So we're going to double click this uh, texture uh, material and you're going to see right here that uh, it's blank. So you're going to want to come down here to texture, click this dotted line uh, button right here. Then we're going to open our statue uh, PNG that we made on our desktop right here. Click open. Now, as you can see, it actually looks like the statue from the game. And uh, I'm 